T-Man 978 Chill Review. Hello everyone, T-Man 978. Right now I'm super happy to be reviewing Maki Toys Remaster Series Downbeat. Of course this is Autobot Jazz from Generation 1. It's supposed to be a masterpiece figure. Here's the packaging. Thank you Matt the Bot Supplier for helping me get this guy at a, a really good price. These things, even used like I got it, they're selling for like close to $200 or over $200 used, which is nuts. So thank you, Matt. Here's Downbeat. Let me just tell you right off top, my complaints are minimal, minimal at best. Like this thing is absolute perfection. Like they call this type of figure a masterpiece and... And yes, even though it's not official, this deserves to be called a masterpiece. It looks like he leapt out of the cartoon on levels that Takara told me can't even produce. You see that backpack? That backpack is like cartoon accurate the way it is. Maybe it might have been a little tiny bit smaller, like up this way. But the outline of his body is just like perfect. Perfect. Uh, Ah, uh, uh, I love them. Downbeat comes with quite a few accessories, so let's just get them out of the way. His number one main accessory is this gun. Ah, this, this is the most disappointing accessory. Well, maybe not the most disappointing, but they should have painted it. it <laughs> it's really thin, and it just looks cheap because they didn't paint it. I mean, I guess it does match this down here, but maybe you could argue that they should have painted that as well. But it just pegs in just like any masterpiece gun. The next accessories I'm going to get into is this dude's optional faces. So as you can see, he is highly cartoon accurate. Like, highly. I commend them like, holy moly, it's really accurate. This visor reflects light very well. I don't have the lights directly shined on them because it wasn't working out for me. There you are with that. Not really a lot of technical detail, just like the cartoon. But the exchange of faces, you want to pull the helmet off, giving him that look, and then popping this off. Now we can take one of his other faces and plug that in. Bring the helmet on top. Now we these are yelling, scared, or in utter just disgust. Lastly is the sideways smirk he has right here. I recognize this from the cartoon. A lot of people don't like this, but <laughs> it looks as accurate as I remember is mostly good for this angle right there and not so much any other angle other accessories he has these speakers that tab in to the back of his arms right here which are really cool it's purple painted plastic with the silver in the middle he used this to fight sound wave if i'm not mistaken he also had these hip speakers, and you know you're putting them in right because that tab is all the way at the bottom. So that's cool. You can fight some way with that. Last cartoon specific accessory is this grappling hook. You know in a cartoon his hand would retract and then a grappling hook would come out. But basically you open the fingers, take this tab, and now it's like kind of tricky you got to work it in while closing the fingers and trying to get that tab all the way back it is really really tricky but i did it now i can close his fingers it looks like this wrapped around his hand and of course you can pull that out and get him to hold it in his other hand which is cool it's made out of a, a decent plastic I wouldn't stress it too much as you can imagine getting it out of the hands is very difficult as well I recommend pulling that out while rotating this and now you can get it out last accessory 
is this G1 toy accurate missile launcher right there. It is like super toy accurate. They just didn't put chrome on it. You take this little notch and slide it right here on the back of his car hood chest. And there you are with that. And since we want to go with toy accuracy, bring this back, lift the wings out, set that back, and now here we are with some extreme toy accuracy. For more toy accuracy, I remember his crotch piece being wider, but that could just be my memory. And of course, these can be rotated back if you like. It's kind of tricky. No, this one is fighting me because of that, so you, you can't have it back. So that's permanent. I mean, you could lift the wings up or down, but there you go. Unlike some other third-party companies that are super popular, you can see that they gave this dude a ton of articulation to match up with the Takara official products. Now, I'm not going to bore you to death with every piece, but the main key pieces is this super duper ab crunch. Of course, he has the waist swivel. The legs can kick really, really high. The knees bend more than 90 degrees. One thing I don't like is the way the sculpt breaks right there. So, that's unfortunate. The ankle pivot is crazy. It goes forward and back. And the if the foot is on a mushroom peg, that can actually separate. What I like to do is make sure that the foot is actually pushed as far back so you don't see that mushroom peg. The elbows are bending bendable 90 degrees. And the wrist swivel and the fingers open up all the, at the knuckle. Now the neck articulation is kind of limited. It can look he can look down a lot, but looking up is where we get the issue. I mean you could push it a little bit by pushing that neck back, and depending on how you have him angled, it may not be too much of a problem. But if you are anal, that will drive you crazy. One issue that this figure has is the way things connect up here. Now the arms can go out. Like, as you can see, they have this molded end piece to fill out that until you go up a little bit too high. The problem with this figure is when you rotate the arms more than this, it causes things to unpeg right there. I mean, you could just move it and then peg it back, but of course that's going to drive some people crazy. In fact, when you move it all the way up, the peg just completely comes out of here. One good thing about that is you can move this up and that filler piece will go up higher. I don't know if they did that on purpose. I doubt they did that on purpose. This peg is intended to stay in here at all times, but know that I believe on their newer version they, that they re-released it was i think they did like a second run and the black version i heard that they fixed that but I'm, I'm not sure if that's actually true i don't see how they could actually fix that going back you get this far back before it separates outside of that this thing is freaking perfect here's this comparison right here holy crap both of these guys look like they just came straight out of the cartoon Thank you, Maki Toys. Before I forget, his thighs are have a glossy finish, sort of reminiscent to Meteor. They're Maki Toys Meteor. This as well. And these are die cast, and it's die cast on the sides right there. So he has some heft. Transformation. Let's start with the upper body. Stretch out the head. Take this back. And bring these doors up and out to the side like that go ahead and detach all of this with everything back like this we want to bring the arms down start opening this up slide these shoulders up on this bar which does feel scary slide that up now we need to reverse the hands back this way. 
reverse the hands or do a 180. Open this up right here. And now we need to bring this up like this. Start bringing this around like that. That's kind of difficult. This is the most difficult part of the transformation. We need to bring this up and start wrapping like bending this hinge forward and kind of wrapping this behind that and rotating this end trying to make sure that the fists stay like like that the whole time now we can unpeg this right here and bring this down like that you can make this match up you're gonna have to straighten that up later make that match up on both sides go ahead and pull this up bring this out put the head back get the doors into this orientation like that and go ahead and bring this down make this go behind that and snap these together okay now everything's basically going to be in its place you need to start working on the legs the legs open this panel up start shoving the foot all the way into there take this right here separate it bring it down that way and rotate that out that way put the hill spur in and we can bring that behind the hill spur this we need to accordion back or not accordion swing back and try to make sure that this clears this and shove that into place right there now we can open this panel Rotate it that way. Shut the panel. The panel like kind of locks into place where that needs to be right there. And then we can rock this forward and put that tab under there. Just make sure this is shut. Sometimes this might retransform itself. Just make sure that it's shoved under there same stuff over here open this panel up grab that foot start shoving the foot into place now we can detach this right here it pegs into two spots one right there and then it up in there we need to rotate it basically into this orientation and that into that orientation Swing this back, or oh, before you do that, shove the heel spur into place and bring this little piece into place. Now we can swing that back. Open this panel on this side and go ahead and make this auto morph. Make sure you rotate this out of the way. Now this can auto morph. Go ahead and Pull that back and shove that in the place. Shove this and rotate this forward, putting that under there. Connect the legs together. And now we can bring this up, ensuring that these tabs are behind the doors. And get those tabs in the place. And go around, make sure that this is up, and you're good to go. Here's Jazz, or Downbeat, in his car mode, and he looks awesome. Like, just the nostalgia this gives me, just looking at him, like, it's so G1 accurate that it's crazy in this car mode.
it's it's like insane. The only issues I have basically is that stuff down there. If they could have made that look more like tailpipes, that would have been awesome. Now, this right here, I thought I would have more of a problem with this, but in person, you barely see it while you're looking at it like this. So, that's cool. Now, these stripes should probably be more this color right here. And not just this dark, dark red with the red stripe. But I'm okay with it. Um, depending on how you have the head, you might be able to see his face through that windshield. You just have the white right there behind there. It does have rubber tires with the gold rims. These are actually transparent lights. They don't quite look like they're transparent, but they are. And let's let you see these lights back there, which are not transparent. They have a hole back there because you can plug in his woofers back here or his speakers. The peg doesn't go all the way quite in, but it's reminiscent of what happened in the show that one episode. Maybe it happened in two episodes. I'm not sure. Outside of that, he has no other weapon storage. First size comparison, here he is next to my KO Red Alert right here. So, as you can see, they're roughly like the same length. Of course, Jazz is going to be higher because the Lamborghini is flat. But, there you are. I don't believe this is intended, but I can wedge that there. But if you shake it at all, it's going to fall off. He rolls really extremely well with these rubber tires. And there's no clearance issues or anything like that. All in all, I thoroughly enjoy this figure in both modes. It, it is truly a masterpiece for, for me. If you enjoyed this video, let me know in the comments. Let me know by actually clicking the like button. Let me know by you subscribing and clicking the notification bell so you can know when I upload more stuff. But anyway, T-Man978, out of here. Thank you for watching. Click, click the videos. Click the f***ing videos, baby. Click, click the videos. You should really click these videos. Click, click the videos. Click those in videos, baby. Click, click the videos. You really should click those videos. Click that shit.